What's good? What is good? Welcome back to the Old Miss Dynasty. So, this is the end of the season, man. I'm gonna run through some quick stats, some quick updates, and we gonna move on. Now, uh, we played our last seasonal game against Mississippi State. We won that 20 to 16 in a good, good egg bowl. Uh, so we brought the trophy back. But let's get into it. So we're going to do a quick rundown again. I know I just said that twice, but you know me. All right, so we're going to look at the coaching option. We're going to go to the report card. This is the first place on today's video. So job security is probably at about a 70, 75. These were our contract goals. We finished the season 75 in the first year of the three-year contract. 500% team goals were to beat Mississippi State we did that we finished in the top three in the SEC we did that and we beat Georgia so what does all that mean for us we'll find out soon um, we lost our only national televised game it sucks but we went five and three in the regional uh, games and uh, our average attendance was 54,000 uh, right there, if you look to the right, with the season record streak and everything, our next game is against number one, Florida, taking on the Gators, of course, in the SEC Championship game. Now, how we got to the SEC Championship game is kind of a Cinderella story, if you would say so. Uh, we lost to Alabama, and we lost to LSU. But we curve stump Auburn. So Auburn was the pretty much tiebreaker. Since we beat them because Auburn beat both LSU and Alabama. We beat Auburn. That's how we got in at seven and five. So I think that's pretty good. Um let's check out the stat ranking. So we went six and two in conference. Again, only losses was to LSU. Alabama went seven and five overall. So this is our offense. We are nationally ranked 117. That is the bottom of the barrel, y'all. Even with 393 total yards of offense in the game, that still was the bottom of the barrel. Uh, we finished 11 in conference uh, also as well. Um, passing yards, we finished pretty much the middle of the pack on both national and conference uh rushing was at the bottom of the barrel points per game was at the bottom of the barrel but we don't pretty much have a high octane offense we pretty much run a pro style so we gonna dink and dunk you all the way down the field if you gonna let us passing touchdowns was abysmal um but we had a mobile quarterback so i had to utilize him a lot so that's what i did rushing touchdowns middle of the pack first downs middle of the pack sacks allowed yeah we was first in conference and at the top of the list nationally because we had a mobile quarterback so we did get out a lot outside the pocket a lot um red zone touchdowns field goals pretty much the middle of the pack red zone scoring we was first in conference and six nationally so i don't think that was too bad but uh we got to improve on those offensive stats if we're going to um, do anything after this season defense this is where I hang my hat at uh, we finished fourth in conference and ninth in national rankings only giving up 242.2 total yards a game passing I'm looking to improve passing because uh, we didn't have any good DBs um, so we had to Pretty much hang our head on this front seven. I know Patrick Willis was on this team along with a few others in the trenches. Uh, and it showed right here in the Russian. Uh, we was first in conference, second nationally, only giving up 62.3 rushing yards. Um, average points against us, again, we're in the middle of the pack. Uh, we finished second in conference and tied for fifth in the national rankings for sacks 
we have 40. I'm looking to have that number increase next season. Um, the scheme we was running, like I said, it's a 335 scheme. And I run a nickel as well. But uh, I don't really go after the ball in a deep secondary. So as you can see right there, the interception numbers are very low. It's because sacks was very high. I would take a sack over interception all day. But we'll get better with coverage because of the way that I will be recruiting. And I will show y'all that at the end of the season. Uh, fumble recovery, we was at the bottom of the list. We only got six uh, red zone attempts. Uh, we finished second in conference, fourth in the nation. We were tied. Um, red zone touchdowns, we gave up 15. We was pretty much at the top of the rankings in that. Red zone field goals, again, at the top. Red zone scoring was bad. We gave up 87 scoring opportunities in the red zone so that's not good efficiency it is what it is on this i ain't gonna go too far into that turnovers as well it's pretty much abysmal at this moment so it is what it is on that um, so let's also check out um <clears throat> excuse me, uh the top 25 of course we got um Florida number one, Louisville, Texas, Ohio State, West Virginia, VTEC, Notre Dame, Arizona State, wow. Colorado, Florida State, Tennessee, Auburn, NC State, Iowa, Oregon, Nebraska, LSU, G Tech, Wisconsin, Utah, TCU, Michigan State, Boise State, Maryland, and bring it out the bottom of the top 25 a team that we did play in season was Michigan we gave them one of their four losses on the season so um that's not bad y'all not bad at all we could take a look at the Heisman candidates um I didn't put any names on this roster but I got the rosters on here but y'all know who that is that's about the only biggest name here at the moment and this should be uh percy hogan right here but um that's it we could look at the bowl projections even though those are no we ain't gonna look at these because they're gonna change everybody got a few people got one more game we'll look at the award finalists um and see what we got we don't have anybody in the maxwell the binaric uh, nobody, best QB, I know we ain't got nobody here, <laughs> nobody in the running back category, I don't think we got a wide receiver, no tight end, no right tackles, man, we ain't got nobody, y'all, until we probably get the defense, cornerback, We ain't got nobody, huh? This was a waste. Alright, we ain't got nobody, so I guess we suck. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh we'll check out uh players of the week. This is something I like to see. Um if y'all like this in the video, man, y'all let me know and I'll go through the players of the week. I like to go through here to see if we have anybody on the national spotlight. Um, these players that usually make the players of the week are usually up for awards at the end of the season. So let's run back and see if we got anybody. We probably got snubbed, even though I think we had some big performances in some of these weeks. But, you know, it's just kind of hard to get on top of things when everybody else around you is just so good. And we didn't have anybody. So I'm going to go to our conference and see what we got. Uh, man. We got nobody. We got Florida got it both defensive and offensive player. Man, we ain't got nobody, y'all. This sucks. Man, how South Carolina get somebody up here, man? 
They got somebody up there. That week, week six, they got somebody up here. Dang. Boy, I tell you. Look, they go another person. Arkansas even got people up here. Kentucky. We got one person, y'all. Week one. Probably when everybody else was off. And we got somebody up there week one defensively. And we got blown out by Memphis that game. Well, they had three tackles, two picks, and one TD. So, I guess you give them the nod on that. But that is it, y'all. That is what it is. So, our next game is SEC Championship game against number one, Florida. I don't know how we're going to fare in this game, but it's going to be a battle of top ranked defenses, even though Florida's offense is way better than ours, and Tim Tebow not even starting yet, so uh, we got to deal with Tebow the next three seasons, or maybe two if he leaves and go to the NFL early, but uh, we're going to see what happens, man. I mean, this is a big obstacle. Uh, LSU torched us, Alabama torched us, this team beat LSU, so I don't know, man, we're going to see what we can do, but we're going to see, uh, other than that, um, other conference games, um, here's the rest of the uh, championship games, Ohio, Toledo, and the MAC. Texas, Colorado, the Big 12, that should be a big, uh, big game. And it's the actual game of the week. Then we got B Tech versus Florida State. I was going to say Florida Tech. <laughs> the Conference USA, we got Tulsa, Southern Miss. So we got two Mississippi teams playing in the championship game. So that's pretty good. But um, I think we got the biggest challenge yet. Um, I think Ohio State sitting in that number two spot. But. If Texas was to win this game nicely, they might, they might jump um, Ohio State. And you get a, if we lose, you might get a Florida-Texas National Championship game. But I'm, I'm coming in this game to play, so uh, Florida better bring the A game because that's what we're going to do. But these are the games. I'm going to see y'all at the SEC Championship game. In the ATL, a short drive to the from the house for me. I don't know how it is for y'all by me being from Georgia. It's just a little short hop, skip, jump. Now, beat it. But till next time, peace.